What's good, George Boy Wildcat 929 back at it again. And today, so okay. To clarify, so I I, I did do I, I I did start a new uh, grind time for Red Dead Redemption. Because if you may or may not know, Red Dead Redemption is by far my favorite gaming universe. Uh Red Dead Redemption 2. Chef's Kiss, beautiful, love it. Red Dead Redemption, love it just as much. Red Dead Redemption 2 helped me like Red Dead Redemption even more. So, I said, you know what? I'm going to do a grand time and play through it. And I, being the genius that I am, I said, oh, let me play Red Dead 1 first. Duh. It's the first one. But then I went to Academy today. I was just walking around. Got some new fishing stuff because, you know, I fish all the time. Um, side note, that fishing game, The Angler, uh, that's on Xbox Game Pass. Love it. Fantastic. It is a great time killer if you need it. It made me want to, made me think about going fishing again. So I got new, some, some new stuff. Anyway, um, while I was there, I was like, wait a second, wait a second. Why... Did I not do them in chronological order? Like play Red Dead 2 first and then play Red Dead 1 and mesh the stories together. Don't know why I didn't do that, but I had that thought. So this is this this is the new episode 1 of Red Dead Redemption Grind Time. You heard it here first folks. Folks and as you can see, I'm about to hit new game. We're starting fresh, fresh to the world, a new story mode. And um, as much as there is to this game, I'm going to try to like not only do the story, I am going to do some side things, but um, just for time's sake, I'm not gonna go like I'm 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 not gonna try to like 100% the game or anything like that, but um, but yeah. So let's get down to the nitty gritty. Yes. Oh, look at that cool cat right there. Why can't men dress like that anymore? Am I right, fellas? overcoat with a or like a yeah like a dusty overcoat trench coat kind of thing with corduroy pants and a and a, a belt a gun holster belt like ah oh, that's how men want men to dress if men dress themselves that's how they would I have, I have one thing to say, but I'm gonna let this I'm gonna let this play out first. The play in the walls. Play this the first time. Come on. Oh, what's going on? Abigail says he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay. Arthur's out looking. 
I sent him up ahead. Uh, and I can't even imagine. Don't stop soon. We'll all be dying. How cold? This weather, it's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There. Oh, Arthur. Any luck? Hmm. I found a place where we can get some shelter. Roger Let Clark. Let Davy rest while he, you know, an old man in town. Bandit. It ain't far. Come on. Come on! Yeah! What a character. Not much to it. Beautiful character introduction, nonetheless. You gotta get through this. This. Um, gotta get through this uh, uh, tutorial chapter first. Yeah, it's not bad. Bring him in here. Get that fire lit quick. Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Davy's dead. There was nothing more you could have done. What are we gonna do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're gonna stay here, and you were gonna get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're gonna ride out. See if we can find one of them. And this? Just for a short bit. And I don't see what other choice we have. Listen. Listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now, we've had, well, a bad couple of days. Yeah. I loved Davy, Jenny. Sean, Mac, they may be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground, in their stead, I'd do it, gladly. But we are gonna ride out, and we are gonna find some food, everybody. We're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're gonna be, we're gonna be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, Get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay, Stay with me. me. We ain't done yet. Come on, Arthur. All right. We've got some work well, to do. We ain't run into them yet. So they both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey, I ain't had time to ask. What really went down back there on that boat? We missed you. That's what happened. That's not Come an on. answer. I... This is hey, such a great... You opening. need horses? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith. Get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son. Bye. We need you strong. Okay. <sighs> All right, let's head out. What an introduction. Sure what we're gonna find out here, Dutch. We have to try. Stay close. We'll do our best to stick to the trail. This goddamn weather. Been two days or more like this now. Oh, it has to blow over soon.
I, I know it's one of those things some people easy. don't like the, um, this, like, tutorial town, but it's, like, it's the, like, yes, the gameplay of it might not be the best, but just setting up the rest of the story is nice fantastic. Don't want to lose you. Can't believe we lost Davy too. He's the last one, Arthur. No more. We need to get those people warm and fed. <clears throat> At least we don't need to worry about Pinkerton's tailing us in this. Uh, a couple okay. more days, we'll be on the other side. Right. You need to help me pick the others back up. Yeah. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. We got a fire and shelter. That's a start. Um. So, do you think it was a trap? In Blackwater? Wait, is that someone coming towards us? Bro is avoiding questions. Oh. You up ahead. Who's there? Another Micah. good introduction. Gentlemen. Found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Well, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davy was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is. Or <laughs> was. Yeah. Bro. And Mac, Sean. We don't know. Quite a business. Hmm. I'm glad you're all right, Micah. I'm not. Always. Oh. Ask him if he's seen here, right, John. Hey, have you seen John? Here, here, let me pause it. So, what I was going to say earlier, I actually saw a post about this today. Um, Dr. Pepper was invented in 18, like, 80 or 76 or something like that. And it was produced for the public in like 1892 or something like that. So, theoretically, John Marston could have gone to a place and said, Hello, may I please get a Dr. Pepper? And that would not be a crazy quest. That, that, that would not be crazy. That, uh, that is accurate to the timeline. That it, it actually would have been really cool if they had like a Dr. Pepper knockoff. Hello, can I get a Mr. Pib? <laughs> um, a Mr. Bib. Didn't see much of anything once this storm came in. He hasn't seen him. Waiting questions. Things always turn out right. <laughs> when, when I was hearing this, I was like, he can't be dead. He's not dead. Ain't no way. Soldiers follow orders. How much further? Not far. What does that mean? Not far. Uh, thanks. <laughs> I, mean, I guess they didn't have a good perception of distance. Oh goddamn! This snow gets right to the bone. Yeah. Okay. 
Let's keep it down now, gentlemen. It's just up ahead. Snuff and stash those lanterns, boys. Best you two lie low on this. Okay. Let's head down there. Oh, man. Never liked this. But this part, I don't want to say it hurts, but it's just like... Eighty. They were just starting to have a life. Sadie's story just makes me sad. Let me do the talking. We don't want to scare these folks. Calling you, Dutch. Sounds like quite the party. You too. Get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty looking degenerates. Arthur, in that cattle shed on the left. Micah, get down behind that wagon in front. disturb you uh my friends and i well we got into some trouble up the way lost in the storm ah uh, gentlemen we can't help you mister i got folks arthur dying on the trail. Arthur, we got a problem folks <laughs> there's a corpse right here no i i just arthur. need some there's a body food in the wagon i hear you Keep your eyes on Dutch. Please. I think you should go now, buddy. Now, friend. Yeah, look out! There's more to back! Looks like the poor bastard was married, too, at some point. If we can't eat it or drink it, put it down. Oat cakes. Oh, I'm starving. You should eat something now. Get your strength up for the ride back. some of the can and vegetables. Oh, I don't believe it. It's a strange one, all right. Maybe they're hiding up here, too. There's a big price on Colmo Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one on yours. 
Button call him dead. It's about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. Much else medicine. <clears throat> Place is dry, warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. I don't really want us to split up. I'm going to start packing the horses. You keep looking. Grab anything you think we can use, then meet me out here. Huh? Gotta admit, telling Arthur about that corp is probably the best thing John uh Micah did. It was actually that right there where I was like, maybe Mike is not a bad guy. Pocket watch, cigarettes, don't want to fight you. Oh. All right. Micah, Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. That Micah, barn. you search the cabin, see what we missed. Sure. Well, he's starving. I'm gonna break your neck. What's going on? Now this guy just killed me. Oh, oh, did he now? I'll pick a fight with Arthur. Should I kill him? No. Not yet. Find out what they're doing here and where Colm is. Oh, this son of a bitch will talk. Where's Colm O'Driscoll? We have the others at an old mining camp say, that doesn't answer. Here, near the lake. What are you bastards doing? Why are you up here? Uh, we're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. I don't know more than that, I swear. <laughs> well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. Oh. I don't know anything else. <laughs> Choking seems a bit hard. Oh, I have got to pick up the hat. Can't get the hat. All right. <sighs> Get this horse. Oh shit. Whoa there. Easy. Easy there. Whoa. It's all good, buddy. Oh yeah. Good boy. That's a good boy. He even nodded and said, Yes, I am. Step around that body or on it. Okay. Is that bastard still in there? He's dealt with. Good. That looks like a decent horse. You should keep him. You need to hitch him. He's already skittish. Blame him. Oh, I'm not found in the cellar. Why am I digging? 
Leave her alone! I wasn't doing nothing. She's one of them O'Driscolls. No, she ain't, Michael. Look at her. Miss, miss. Are you... Oh, you fool! Michael! Miss, now, it is gonna be okay. We mean you no harm. Miss, miss. Come on. It'll be okay. We need to get out of here and quick. Come on now. Oh. <laughs> you okay, Miss? They came three days ago. And Bob has been me. <laughs> miss, you are safe now. And you can't stay here. Micah, you idiot. You come with us. Arthur. Miss, it's okay. Uh, we're bad men. We ain't them. It's okay. Get on. We'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, Miss? Miss. Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. I... He... He was my husband. This one really happened her. She deserved better. I oh, won't well, No one deserved that. But that's... That's... I can't even... <clears throat> hey! Somebody's coming! Looks like it's Dutch. Hey, everybody, Dutch is back! How'd you get on? <laughs> I hate Michael knowing what happened. Michael found a homestead, but he weren't the first. Colm O'Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, we found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently. Scouting the train. Thank you. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food. And this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something. And Mrs. Adler, it's going to be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? Well, how come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to bed. And that's when I remembered Micah is the bad guy. Gotta be with the gang longer to get your own room, Micah. You have to be the main character. He ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? <laughs> Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing <laughs> because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look uh. for John? I wish You're Red Dead 1 was different, so Javier now, didn't to go against geez, John. We're all, I mean, go against John. Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. Go against I know. Arthur. The situation were reversed, and he looked for me. Thank you. This way. Last I know... John was headed up the river. I liked Javier in this game. You know, too. He kept riding north and never looked back. He wouldn't leave. I like that. Uh, wouldn't be the first time.
I remember playing this the first hey, time. I was smoke. very impressed with the game. Come on, let's take a look. Uh, let's hope it ain't more of O'Driscoll's boys. Graphics is the uh, uh, world design of us. Seems somebody left. Recently. And that way. Sure, well, come on then. <clears throat> There's some tracks leading to the river. Despacio. Let's cross. See, they continue up that way. I can't even imagine how cold that water is. You think it's John? You tell me. These are horse tracks for sure, but it could be anyone. Let's just see where they lead. So, you were there, Javier. What really happened on that boat? We had the money, it seemed fine. Then suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? Oh, no, Pinkertons. It was crazy. Raining bullets. I, I said I'm gonna be kind of like... Take it slow. Big ravine here. Dutch killed a girl in a bad way. But it was a bad situation. That ain't like him, though. The tracks go left, down here. Was, the whole time I was doing this, I was like, John Davey got shot. isn't dead. Mac and John both shot too. Sean, we don't even know. I'm surprised we escaped at all. By the time you boys showed up from the other side of town, <laughs> we were only just holding on. Bad business, all right. Damn snow's coming in hot again. We'll lose these tracks if we don't move fast. I can't even imagine. And I was in, up in Maine, we, uh, Tanner and I were up in, like, 26 degrees, and, like, relatively decent Careful snow, but it wasn't actually here. snowing. And we had the car right behind us, so. Yeah. So, it Come on, really boy. wasn't that Horses bad. Struggling. It was yeah. wind a little bit. A lot of fresh snow here. Not quite. Uh, know about this, the, the snow was Can't fresh, too. Nothing. Still, now, let's like, push on a little bit. Lovely. Maybe we'll pick up the trail again. Sure, how cool. Almost there. If you're ever thinking about it, Maine. Beautiful. Loved it. Highly recommend. Hey, look. Over there. You see that? John was riding that horse when we left Blackwater. Let's see if he can hear us. Come on, up there. Shotgun from your horse. Who knows what's up ahead? Down this way. You gave it to me. Of course you're gonna go. And I'm, I'm, I, I wish Javier was a good guy in Red Dead. First ring. You sure about this? My question is, why did John just go from this, this way? Okay. Chased by wolves or something? It's slippery, be careful. Let me head of that we're high up here. You're telling me. Help me. Careful. There's a drop here. Thank you. 
Watch out here. I'd be hugging. Stay low under here. Okay, from here. If I was John, I'd stay under that little ledge. Watch your step. This is real slippery. Stay close to the wall. Up here. Come on. Gap here. Over here. That sounds closer now. Come on. Just, hey, John, Come hold up. Me, John. I, I need to eat some corn. Hold on, John. We'll come to you in a second. I gotta open up this can of corn. Forst! That was me. Call to John. John. Where are you? Oh, yeah, technically. John! There you go. Come here! Down on the ledge! That's John! How the hell is it? Down here! Hey, Ava. She's down here. Over here! You're dying. Shut up. That's quite a scratch you got there. Never thought I'd say this, but it's good to see you, Arthur Morgan. Don't you dare disrespect Arthur like that. You don't look so good. I don't feel too good, neither. That's what Please. Arthur says, but you never really did. Just yet, cowboy. Oh, he doesn't. Come on, compadre. Well, we can't go back the way we came. Let's try this way. Ain't you a sorry sight? Can't argue with you there. See, I told Dutch you weren't the right man for this. I'm sure you Man, did. they just never let up on John. You all right? I can't wait to get to Uncle Roast so. in the uh, epilogue. Hopefully this will lead us out. Rolling. Oh, you see that on the ridge? Perfect. Fantastic. I'll distract him while you get to the horse. Go. Draw him off. All right, John, come on. Let's get you on that horse. Come on. Over here! Stay Come on. Come on, you. Bro, I said get to the horses. What do you do? Not get to the horses. I would follow Javier if he was moving. They knew what they were doing when they said that. You're not gonna die yet. 
Up there? More of them! Oh. Stay back! Get the hell out of here! Shit, there's more on the right. Just that. Okay. More coming in on the left. Quit up. Get out of here. Uh. Uh. You see any more? Boy, need bounce. Don't think so. Jesus. You still with us, Marston? Just about. You're gonna be okay. We have some shelter now. Thanks for coming for me. Of course. That bullet in Blackwater, now this. You had a hell of a time. And Arthur always says, I'm lucky. None of us are lucky right now. We should ride in the water for a bit. Try to lose a scent. Don't want to leave a trail right back to camp. You know, we're gonna need to come up with a better story for that scar. So, freezing, bleeding, starving. Damn near getting eaten to death ain't good enough for you. Here, let's cross to the left. Yeah, come on. Let's push hard and get back. See those buildings up ahead, John? That's where we camped. Nearly there. John down off this horse. Can we get some help here? First time I came back, I was like, did everyone leave? Can we get some help? We need some help here. Come on, help him down. You're alive. You're alive. Right, here we go. There we go. Uh, Ay, uh, careful, uh, idiotas. It's his leg. Uh, oh, come on, let's get you warm. Uh, Thank you. Thank you both. This is a new low, even by your standards. Thank you, Arthur. Thank you. You got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. Have you and Dutch talked about how we're gonna get out of this? I was just discussing with Air Strauss when the weather breaks. Uh, Air Strauss. We'll have you to keep heading east. East. And all SOB. That's civilization. I know. And good old see you next the Tuesday. West is where our problems are worse. Uh, come on, Herr Strauss. Let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Moggy. Man, shut up. <sighs> it's your fault. Not for the storm. For other things. We have been running for weeks. We found shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait the thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. Ah. <sighs> So what now, Dutch? Yeah, that's that? I took damage? What's wrong? We get warm. And we wait. When the storm breaks, we move. But we're safe here. Warm enough. Hmm. B or B? So check out Bill Wood. Up here. Help oh, you boys because I thought you liked action. A couple of days on the lamb and you lot have all turned yellow. Apart from you, of course. Shut up, Micah. I ain't never seen so many oh, long now faces. I know what you mean. Mm, I guess I guess folks miss them. That fell. But when I fall, I don't want no fuss. When you fall? There'll be a party. <laughs> a party. <laughs> Probably. Uh -huh. Funny, huh? Sure. <laughs> so I don't feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. I Stop hate him so much. Now, you fools punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching. I hate that line. Hard. I hate that line. It's sit so around, crazy. Wait for him to come find us. All of you, we got work to do. Come on. You sure about this, Dutch? Yes. Both been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. And the last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Colm O'Driscoll. Let's go. I know you hate him, Dutch. He's here for us. I doubt that. No, you're just doubting me. Dutch, shut I up. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You, 
You always oh, said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This is the right call, Arthur. Take this. And this is about more than revenge for business long ago. They were talking about trains and detonators here. Cole always had good information. See, I like the one thing that is cool about the story is like, man, why didn't Arthur already have a right man? Oh, well, he had to leave them behind when they left for that life. Mr. Matthews, Mr. Smith, Mr. Pearson, would you please look after the place? There are O'Driscolls about. Yeah. Southwest, right, Arthur? I said yeah. rifle, but I repeat. You follow the main trail southwest. They're camped near some lake. Okay, let's go find these bastards before they find us and rob this score they're planning. I can tell the only fools out here are us and them. They must be this way. You good, Dutch? Of course. Listen, I know you don't think much of my ideas recently, but this is the right move. Okay. You know I got your back. I learned a long time ago that you hit Como Driscoll. Hit. Wait for him. The people you love will die. This feud between you and him needs to I love, be put to I, rest. I think it's funny how it is slightly another. justified. I'm not gonna say fully justified, I can't but forgive. it is slightly justified. Others I can't forget. What he did to Hannibal. But you killed his brother! You killed his brother, Dutch. Yes. So technically I Dutch did. started it. And I hope the bastards will be reunited soon enough. That's how this will end. Damn right, boss. See that smoke? Let's cut up here and take a look. They said it was near the lake, so we must be close. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, that Bill. Whoa! Hold up here. Bill, go. Whoa! All right, gentlemen. You. Oh. This is it. Are we goddamn ready? Ready, ready Dutch. Good. Now, Mr. Morgan and I, we're gonna head up here a little, see if we can't get a sense of the layout of the camp. Mr. Williamson, Mr. Bell, you two take up a hidden position just outside the camp. <gasps> Mr. Me. Summers, Mr. Escuela, you two hold position here. Let's go. Second I got off over said, bye. Definitely them. Home? I think so. Yeah, that's him. He would be wearing a big coat. Looking like a pimp. Who's he talking to? He don't seem very happy. No. 
I was expecting him to shoot him. They leaving? Seem to be. Should we go get him? No. Cone can wait. I Best thought Cone couldn't wait. I there. thought when you had the chance, you hit Cone hard. It's less fun to rob him and his score if he never finds out about it. Come on, let's get down there. Don't forget to grab that rifle from your horse. You two, get up there and keep us covered. You got it, Dutch. Good. Come on, let's go. Seems easiest to take the same path down as Bill and Micah. Like you said, Revenge is a luxury we can't afford. Yeah, just wasn't sure you agreed with me. Arthur. Arthur, have you completely Man, lost bro, faith quick gaslight Our Arthur. needs right now bro, are supplies, shut up. equipment, and a way out of here. Everything else, including calm, can wait. Okay. There's I, enough of those bastards down whatever. there to deal with as it is. Now, come on. Maybe he was just meaning O'Driscoll's? And not necessarily Calm and the Driscoll's? I don't know. Uh, geez, why is it when I stream, I start getting sleepy. I get sleepy. Start stretching and start stretching and yawning and ah. Uh, whatever. It's okay. All right. <clears throat> By this consistent hum music, it's tense, and tight, tense, tense, just tense, nothing else. It's steep here, careful. Thank you. Fancy camera work. I've never liked the like first person. It's a little. In, in my opinion, at least for like for the Rockstar games, like uh, GTA is the same way. I don't know. First person just is a little like disoriented. Like you can never see least as much as you need to or want. Maybe I should take the lead on this. They're going to be gunning for you. They ain't got me yet. No, but the way our luck's been running, hush. Let's just get down there first. I just wonder what would happen if Dutch died. Like, oh, Let's head for that building. would would Arthur and Hosea just take over? I guess? It's for Peter, it, it's funny. Like, it just looks short. It looks small for him. And it's kind of funny, in in my opinion. I did that hunting mission first last time I filmed this, so I had a bow last time. Stay low. Wait, but, but I, I, I don't think you can sneak this. Come on, follow me. I think first time I played this, I was like, uh, Dutch. And I was like, oh, that's my getting cover, Arthur. So, what are we doing, Dutch? I can take this if you want. Just make the call. You want to take the lead? Go. Okay, I'll go first. That was a terrible shot. Oh my lord, I can't shoot. There we go. There we go. How did I miss that? There we go. Say, I need. Oh 
Come on. Can't wait to actually have like a rifle. There we go. Do that. There he is. Right in the shoulder. I think that's all of them. Search the bodies. Strip everything you can from them. You recognize any of them, Duck? Of course not. Cole doesn't give a damn about his men. All he cares about is numbers. If you can shoot a gun and ride a horse and kill without thought. Think how long some of you have been with me. I imagine Colm doesn't even know half the names of these fools. Heads up, boys! We got more coming in from the forest! Yes. Bro said. We're about to get these fools, and then just gets shot off. Shit, there's a lot of them. What do you think, Arthur? Do we hold around here? Or go at I say we go at the bastards. Come on, man. Ooh, good shot. Oh, dang. Yellow. Nice, I finally got a dead eye. Let's go. I did do it. Whatever. We're waiting on you, Arthur. You don't have to. I'm coming. Good work, boys. Now, let's tear this place apart. <clears throat> Bill, you go search that wagon there. Mike, search that building. Arthur, you take that building to the left. All right, man, quick. Find those detonators, explosives, anything you can. Let's go. Essentials. Here? Sand and knees done. Here. This looks good. What do you think, Bill? Well, looks fine. It smells good. Come on. Did we get everything? Think so, boss. Found this on one of them. Thank you. This is perfect. Oh, yeah. Interesting. This is something about the train they was gonna rob. A Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Bum, bum, bum. Let's keep moving. And imagine how much the story would have changed if home took that train. Not a man down. Good work, fellas. Not bad for some starving down and out. They can pummel us hard as Lenny, that's but we will always get back up and fight. Oh Lenny. 
Outlaws for life, fellas. Wait until we have John, Mac, Charles, and Sean back riding with us, and I believe, I know, they will all be back. Well, you didn't get combed, but this head will hurt him a lot more than any bullet in the head. Especially when we rob this train, too. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll see about that. Oh, indeed we will. You know, he'll come after us. Oh, of course he will. Just like all. Oh, I also felt bad for Davy. Not Davy. Um, make sure we always know guy where that they, they are get before the they address know where we are. Get. We allowed ourselves to get a step behind in Blackwater. I, I've that seen they they, they were starting to like him. Bring him back alive, the repeater. You're coming with me. Come on, I, I, I'm nobody, Mister. Not his name. First. You got me mixed up with someone else. This is uh, very kind of you. There we go. This guy's like, hey, let me pick him up. Please, please, you don't need to do this. Comfortable enough for you? What's your name, boy? I don't know. You don't know your name? It's Kieran. Kieran, Kieran Duffy. What? Duffy, Kieran Duffy. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. This is a real bad day for you, Kieran Duffy. <laughs> Where are you taking me? Somewhere you ain't gonna like. Why? What are you gonna do to me? Some fan you ain't gonna like. So I'd advise you to save your breath for screaming. No, please! That would be terrible. If someone tells you, you better, you know, hush up, because you're gonna want to save your breath for screaming. I I think I would pass out. Maybe not pass out, but my my stomach would would be in my pants. I'll go to Mexico. You better shut your mouth, you little shit, or I will shut it for you. I've only been running with them a couple of months. I don't know nothing up real about him, honest. Just let me go, please. Are you trying to test me? Is that it? Because I will break every bone in your body. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Not one more goddamn word. Am I clear? Okay, okay. That's two bones right there. <laughs> Thought that one was. Here we are, you sack of shit. That's two bones, right? There. Let's introduce you to the boys. Oh boy. Hey, hey yo. They oiled up too. Don't hurt me, please. Oh, don't worry. They're real nice. Huh. You found a little shit, did you? Yeah. <laughs> I got him. Very good. Welcome to your new home. Hope you're real happy here. You want me to make him talk? Oh, no. Now all we'll get is lies. Uncle, Mr. Williamson, tie this maggot up someplace safe. We get him hungry first. I got a saying, my friend. 
We shoot fellas as needs shooting, save fellas as needs saving, and feed them as need feeding. We are going to find out what you need. I can't believe it! An O'Driscoll in my camp! No, I ain't an O'Driscoll, mister! I, I hate that fella! Oh, whatever you say, son. Well done, Arthur. I'm just sorry we missed out on Cole. Oh, there's time enough for that. Now, I gotta figure out if we can hit that train. Okay. Okay. One more tutorial. Oh. <sighs> Whatever, it's okay. Like I said, I'm not trying to 100%. And I missed, honestly, I missed the part where they said the stuff about that. Here, <laughs> while they're talking, we're gonna starve to death up here, Mr. Go Morgan. Back. We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what? 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found enough, enough of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, here. You're gonna need something to eat out there. Assorted salted offal. Starving will be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. I I do also like Charles. I'm I'm glad at least Charles was able to. I can't use it, and you'll have to stay on oh, Arthur's joking. side. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. Come on, this way. Arthur can learn anything. Sorted salt at all. I'd rather die. How are you holding up, Charles? I'm okay. Apart from this hand. Stupid mistake. Still bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. I uh, sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. So. You reckon we're gonna find something to kill that ain't no Driscoll? <laughs> There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. We'll head up this way, find some higher ground. Whew. Been a wild few days, all right. That ride north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm. Going out for John, that thing with the old Driscolls. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that, just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. No one. Me neither. Well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. Yeah. Let's go hunt.
see some of the ground uncovered here. Mm -hmm. Let's look down this way. The winds died down too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Now shh. Stay quiet. No. Shh. I definitely stop here. Or, yeah, I, was say, I definitely see something. Oh. There's deer been here recently. How can you tell? How can you not? Let's walk it from here. You're gonna need the bow. Don't leave it on your horse. The gun will scare everything around. Keep down. Move quietly and slowly. They got this. Doom. 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 Is it going on? You see the tracks? I uh, think so. Maybe not. Focus. Yeah. <clears throat> there we go. I was about to say I need all my need all my actions. It's easier in the snow, but once you get your eye in, you'll be able to track the nearly as well in grass and woods. Wish I could track. That'd be cool. <clears throat> I mean some of those things I probably could if I really focused and like, and like really like focused on it, but oh, there it is. Shh. Down there, you see him? Are you ready with that bow? Aim for their head. Or neck. We want a good, clean good shot. Now let's try for another. Sorry, little deer. Extra. I think this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I like ran across the river and actually started. Yeah, That's all we can carry. Okay, you pick up one, I'll get the other. You sure your hands are okay? Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder. Okay, I'll go grab the other one. Yeah. I don't know, every time I call my horse, I can never just... It's always... Like, I don't know. I have a little, like, little pattern that I like to do the. I, I can't actually whistle, so I like to. I don't know. I've never been good at whistling. If I did whistle good, that's how I would do it. Come on. Over here. Come on, then. 
Let's head back. Nice work, Arthur. Should be enough Sorry, to, to see that. us all fed for a few days. You found him. I knew you'd be okay with that bow. It's easier when they ain't shooting back. <laughs> We've seen enough of that. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, well, maybe our luck is finally on the turn. Shut up! Me, we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak, and well, you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm, you're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what then? We still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. They always do. Notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater? We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. We've only been up here a few days and have already picked up two more mouths to feed. One more. We ain't feeding the old Driscoll a damn thing. Except maybe that can of salt and awful Pearson was kind enough to give us. The girl, she has a wild look in her eye. <sighs> of course. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. <sighs> so what do we do with her? Well, once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. Who knows? Maybe she'll deal with the O'Driscoll for us. <laughs> well, I know who my money's on in that fight. He's weak, but that makes him much more useful. Maybe we can get to them before they get to us. What is it with the O'Driscolls? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Hell, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Nah, I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Big gang. Nasty sons of bitches. Watch out. Bear up ahead. Let's see if we can find another way around. Well, he's got a lot of meat on him. We've got enough here. No need to push our luck. We must be real hungry. Stay well back. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. Oh, what are you doing? So that bear know that there's literal all you can eat buffet right behind it. Cut up here, off the trail. I need to do that trick. If I'm ever getting attacked by a bear, I need to I need to do that thing where you don't. I know I've seen it be done, but. You and me. How long you been with us now? Five, six months? Something like that. But you didn't expect this. What? Any of this. Blackwater mess. Being up here? Ah. Uh, sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. No, not at all. I just... I know you can run it alone, no problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. Arthur. Always wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Oh yes, Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. More than ever. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh. 
20 years, something like that. Since I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. He taught me to read. John, too. He taught me a few other things. Him and Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. Dutch saved me. Hosea and Most Dutch. They're like a nice That's gay couple. We need to stick by him through this. With adopted sons. He always sees us right. How's that new horse? He's all right. He'll do for now. I appreciate you letting me take time the other night. <laughs> She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. <laughs> I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the Count once. Fuck me faster than a bull. <laughs> Won't take nobody but him. I'm gonna hitch time over here. Brought some food back, boys. Come on, let's get these over to Pearson. Uh, thank you. Come on, I hit the thing to remove the, the problem. I only showed you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice to master. That's true. What a surprise. You find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid. <laughs> he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it I is. love the way they talk. Now, to shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yes. Oh. Seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. I'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. Do I get to skin you? <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't I a like, man with I've always liked man. Pearson. I'll see you both later. You skin that one, you, you dumped on the floor there. I like the when, when in the epilogue where John finds Pearson the market the general store. Huh. Not too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town if you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. Yeah, well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. <sighs> I've never been hunting. I wouldn't mind it. It's been a bad few weeks. But Dutch being Dutch, he is busy making plans. And Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. Is that you're still here then? Heroin? I owe you. Let me uh, see. And you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur. I think it's time for the train. You want me to come? Of course I do, but look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. Jackie. The 
The boy wanted to see you, John. He's seen me now. Or what's left of me. What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, mm. railway man. Bill, now you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah, come on. What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're Should living. Listen. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. Yeah, Fancy listen. heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? Yeah, he's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob. All right. <clears throat> let's rob this train, I guess. I will skin okay, plenty of deer. Listen up, all of you. According to the information so kindly provided to us by the Odriscoll, the train will be coming north from Big Valley. We're going to pick it off after it crosses the border into the Grizzlies. There's a raised spot there that should give us good vantage. Charles, you'll keep lookout for any outriders. How's that hand, by the way? I'll be fine. Good. I'll take the driver and engineer, then run point. Lenny and Javier, you two take the front cars, deal with any guards. Arthur and Micah, you head straight for the back. That's what we're after, Mr. Cornwall's private car. You and me, Morgan. Great. Have you got a problem with that? Not if you keep your head for once. You worry about yourself, huh? Enough! After Bill blows the tracks, we're gonna need to move fast. Is everyone clear on the reason I've been talking to you? Because there's been a lot of dialogue. Good. And I'm not trying to talk. Let's ride. <clears throat> You're still surrounded by snow. But we need to get this done fast. Now it's thawing before anyone gets up here after us. Oh, look at you boys. See? This is what I call a crew. Micah Bell, Charles Smith, Arthur Morgan, Javier Escuela, and what about young Lenny here? Always the first man on his horse. Just happy we're back at him, Dutch. You sure you're ready for this? I always like Of course I'm ready. Just stay calm. Keep your eyes sharp. That goes Sad. for all of you. No mistakes. Not again. So we this whole this. story is sad, honestly. How many times are you going to ask the same question, Micah? That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. It would be crazy to go back there now. The place will be swarming with Pinkertons. We go back when I say we go back, and that's the end of it. The money's safe. You'll just have to trust me. And if the O'Driscolls are right, there'll be a stack of railroad bonds on this train. Good money once we work out how to cash them. Now everyone, shut up and get
get your mind on the job at hand. Come on. There's the water tower. Hold up here on the ridge. Whoa. Is Bill there? Yeah. You want to head down? See how he's getting on? Okay. Whoa! How you getting on? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. You sure? Yeah, of course. Can I help a little? Yeah. All right. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. I do always wonder what, like, who messed this up? Like, what, what went wrong? Okay, this is good. All right, that should do it. You head back up to the others. I got it from here. You know what? Let's do a quick little Google search. Who messed up the dynamite? The dead connection to... Whose fault was it that the train tracks didn't blow up? Hmm. So I so I just saw two quick answers. I saw one that said the Driscoll's just had by dynamite, <laughs> which is what's assumed. Um. Oh, and the other one says. Um, which I just, I noticed right now, um, if you look back, Arthur only hooked up one wire when you're supposed to hook up two, but Bill could have seen that. Did Bill not check, check, uh, Arthur's work? That, uh. mistakes what's going on he says off mm -hmm. fine we'll soon find out everything okay i think so okay cover your faces train should be here any minute now i, th I can't remember if they let you like choose your band name Gentlemen, it's time. Good luck, all of you. You all know what to do. Here we go. No, no, both are connected. Said it was fine. It was my fault. You're pathetic. You know that? Uh. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. He didn't make it. Come on, we need to stop. 
about this train? There's another guard up ahead. You want me to take him? Let me not go out. He was talking to Lenny. Okay. <laughs> Just shoots a man in the head. How you doing there? Say, do I have more types of ammo? No, I don't know. All these bastards must be guarding something. Good shots, Lenny. Still okay? Good. Oh my lord. I'm not a good shot. Doing good, kid. There we go. Let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, mm. we will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We ain't Five, opening this door. Four, three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little. That's enough. Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys, go blow that door open. Now, it don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. Seems good enough. Here we go. Now light the fuse. Unless you got a death wish, I'd step back, fellas. We don't want to kill you. My we didn't want to rob your boss. 
Get on up there. Search that train. <laughs> Get up there, Arthur. Look at this place. <laughs> it's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should Go be easy the as the cake. Really, this is You're just gonna stand letter. there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will you? I'm parched. Shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah. Apparently, part good. of what the yeah, what these letters talk about is that whole He's thing uh, later in the story with the. Um, <clears throat> Hey, not finding oil on the reservation. It's open. When you work for a Come on. Come on. Get in there. Ha. Ha. There. See? That's how it's done. Shit. It's just a pile of papers. Bonds? I don't think so. Here. Make yourself useful. At least we all know you can read. Give me those. Search this cabinet first. Railroad contracts, invoices, blah, blah, blah. You got anything? Not really. Sugar imports from the Spanish West Indies. A lot of sugar. Some fancy new boat he's ordered from Europe. <laughs> That's that boat he dies on later, probably. As long as I live. Think I got him. Nice. Well, thank God. <clears throat> I think I've got just about everything else. What did you find? These. Bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah, get it out of here. What about them? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. Yeah. Okay. Get on the train, quick. All of you. Any bright ideas? I kill all three. So behave. Come on, move. We won't tell us so. I swear. Go on. Hat back. I'm guessing my hat got knocked off on the whole car. My guess. And it is no longer here. It's okay. I'll get it. Train robbed. Check. <clears throat> oh, for Lord's sake, put that book away and go help. <laughs> Mary Beth. So, are we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. <laughs> well, then let's go. 
clean noses and everything oh, else. John. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. I like this part. Killer soundtrack. Killer soundtrack. Nothing like the, um... A miss, a miss of crash of words. Nothing beats that absolute banger. Lenny, Micah, get over here. Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me, with the boy? Just yeah, Micah, shut the up. Oh. You can buy me a whiskey. I broke the goddamn wheel. Everything look all right. Well, what's going on? Ah, broke the goddamn, goddamn wheel. wheel. All right, let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You still strong enough to hold up a wagon? Shut up. I'm just saying. <laughs> Shut up. Say less. Pick the wheel up. Nearly there. there. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> See? You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. So apparently Hosea was sick. Or is sick. What do you think? If they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. Not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. So, yes, the Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country, they lost it all. Stolen clean away from them it was, every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly, uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't, in spite of Dutch's talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, <clears throat> this here's a con man, Charles. This, this is probably Miss M minus That's Lenny, minus fancy. Lenny and Javier. He knows a damn thing about what he's this is about. probably my best, the 
my favorite wagon right here. This is the cool so, wagon. It just needs Javier and Lynn. What happened to your trap? Maybe Kieran. I don't even know if I have one. At least not that I can remember. My father was a colored Charles. man. Charles. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did, but when we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait. I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. Um, I always just assumed it was more of like a brotherly type we rivalry. Still heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we plan? No. no. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls. Our kind working of girls. The Driscolls? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait, but what's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? It's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him. But we kept telling him that ferry job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Of course. It always has been. Me, you. Dutch, we've all been in this line of work a long time, and we're still here, so well, I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Ah, some okay. people say he, some people think he has a type of uh, lung disease. Thanks. Hey, slow up. I'll jump on. Okay, let's go. Any trouble getting in here, Javier? Nope. It went well. This is a good spot. Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. Here we are, gentlemen. Home sweet home. What did it take us to fix the wheel? You were wrong, Jose. Good Lord. This place is perfect. Are. I hope so. Gentlemen, we have survived. For now. Now it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Hosea. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Over the mistake alive, you made! Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. 
I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck, east of the Grizzlies and out of money, and a long way from our dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother. But we my are brother. safe. We make a bit of money here. Then we move again, head out around them, be west of Uncle Sam, in a few months, buy some land. I hope so. <laughs> Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer Robin Banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough. But we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. Dang, Dilly. I do like what happens with Dilly. I'm glad she... Glad all the girls end up living a good life. I'm gonna try to find them all. Or a good. Uh, not all the girls, obviously. But the ones that do make it out. I'm glad. I'm glad they end up living a good life. Got off the mountain, and rode east into some pretty enough country called the Heartlands. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier, in spite of black water and that whole mess. I'd love to cosplay as Arthur. Arthur? Bald version. Jose? Bald and bearded version. Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm going to read a book. <laughs> All right, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I think that's going to call an end to the stream. We have completed chapter one and are into chapter two of Red Dead Redemption 2. And I am going in chronological or chronological order this time. So we're all good there. A true grind time of the Red Dead Redemption story. So, Arthur, my oh, boy, right. my dear boy. What's going on? Nothing. Nothing at all. For the first time in weeks, nothing. We're way. free. We're free to plan our own futures once more. I hope so, Dutch. You kept the faith, Arthur. You always kept it. And I ain't losing it now. All right, let's go eat some stew. Hell of a morning. 
those other O'Riscals left my husband. Oh. Oh. Yep. Ooh, here we go. <laughs> Get some stuff. I'm not gonna lie, this dude looks decent. Meal enough. Alright. Morning, Arthur. Let's go to my let's go to my tent. Alright, so as previously stated, ladies and gentlemen, thank you again for being here for the beginning of the true Red Dead Redemption grind time. Um, make sure you uh, subscribe to the channel so you can be all up to date on everything Core Creativity has to offer on YouTube. And don't forget to follow Core Creativity on Twitch as well to see... Oh, no. Yes. Follow Core Creativity on Twitch as well to see what uh, everyone has to offer on that. And don't forget to follow uh, me, your boy Wildcat929 on Twitch. Um, and TikTok and X and yeah, and don't forget to check what else we have to offer on YouTube with all the other playlists and all that fun stuff. I I want to try to add more to Spooky Time, and i um, been definitely adding more to Sim Time because you know how much I like my Sims. And as always, thank you for watching. Get your money up, not your funny up. Deuces.